Okay, so we're gonna work on stracking, stracking over. Uh, a lot of people just call it ribbon cuts, and because I mean, if you look at it, you hear boom, boom, makes a ribbon. Yay! So simple, right? So uh, a notion of do these a lot of times in actual action. I will be here. I won't even do any step work when I make the false edge cut up, right? If you need to, step to the side to guarantee if you're deflecting and then make a cut, it can go that fashion. Uh, I like working things from the hips better, so boom, step to re-align my cut. But it doesn't always work, so uh, that is a notion. Uh, so. This is really good for pretty much luring an opponent in. But as always, Alber, you know, anywhere you want to be on the sides, Vexel, even. Uh, in fact, whole theory on that, we'll talk about that later. Being from here, it's open, right? Come at my head. Oh, look, he's coming. Bing, boom. You can do it from both sides. Bing, boom. Honestly, this side is where I like to be most times because they don't see any threat. They're like, oh, I'm coming for your head. Deflect, cut. That's also not saying that this can't take their arms and you can do another action as well. Uh, but we're going to get into those as we progress. Uh, so we'll go over this one real fast. It's another little kind of short, easy one. I say short and easy, it's more of it just doesn't have as many complicated moving pieces. So uh, the notion of this one, though, is you, if you do this, do both sides at the same time. Like, do 10 on this side, 10 on this side, and that kind of notion. It'll eat up a lot of time, but it'll help reinforce it from every direction. So we will go from this side first, on our right. We'll make sure our footwork, we're in proper structure, boom, boom, boom. I'm not even going to step, I'm just going to be coming up. So the notion of this one is you are still casting that tip, so you want to be hitting at about a 45 degree angle. I can kind of show the edge of how that angle is. If I came off, boom. So if you think about it, you're coming out right through this shoulder, right? So boom, 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 right? So that's that notion second stage is we're going to start from the long point off the side, step and cut. Long point slightly off the side, cut. Long point off the side, cut. Okay, like I said, it's a fairly simple action. So, boom. make sure you cut up and around. Uh, so a couple of, like I said, slightly easier drill to kind of work with on solos, but most people do this weird crap and the sword goes flying. This is about making sure the hips are engaged. So to show that, this kind of takes from Fiori a bit. If you watch that back leg, I'm here. So kind of making sure you roll that hip if you need to. Roll that foot, if you get it, as you bounce on the ball, do so. Uh, okay, so, sorry it's a little hazardous, I've only had one cup of coffee, it's been a bad morning. <clears throat> Alright, um, to continue on with another little variant of this process, I already showed a bit. All right, you can be out here, crack, work, boom. Right, so as you're doing this one, deflect as soon as you get contact, thumb grip, work. That is, uh, if you have the speed and capability, it creates also if their sword goes flying off, bing. Right. Another one is you can strack in hunter's work, making sure you're going to the lower target. It works. I do find this work works pretty well at times if you 
get enough of a deflection off. If you don't feel comfortable when you deflect, slow down, I'm getting away. That's where the over comes in. If you've knocked it off pretty good, you want to go in. You can strike here. If they are running away and you do this, well, now you're in a perfect position to throw. Uh, that should be every detail on that side. Again, same actions. Boom. From this side. Boom. So make sure when you make that step, you're stepping out to the side for that pass. Kind of more of an oblique. Okay. Again, the hunters boom, do work really well for things. Sorry, guys, works. And then the hunters work. Uh, so, do note that that kind of is a bigger motion on those works. So, it's much more if they're getting in close to you. Like if they rushing in at you with their cut, then you can deflect, boom, because they're right here and you changed your range. If they're standing further out, that works a little bit better because your chances are you'll catch an arm, potentially head, but more than likely an arm, if that makes sense, because they're, depending on reach, height advantages. Again, motions to work with footwork and stuff, and I will get partner drills of all these videoed up so you see the actual reactions.